All right. Hi. What do we got here? Logan, Nolan, Lincoln, Nadine. This is a little salt and pepper boy. The black uh, boy was a his brother. They're the same age. They're just two different colors. What's nice about salt and peppers, as you can see, you, you have a more defined mask. You have the variation of color. Um, this ear here kind of is an indication of what color this back will be. And so is this. See this, this here coming in? So the undercoat is coming in gray. He's still changing colors, and he will be for quite some time now. And then he's got the little eyebrows that are very defined. And then, like I said, the mask that's very defined. And again, what you want to do is work that mustache forward every day. Kind of do this. You don't hurt him. You just gently, you know, train it forward. So he just had a bath. And he was a very good boy in his bath. He just got a grooming. And he was a very good boy in his grooming. And uh, I like him. He's a good boy. He's a little bit bigger than the uh, black and silver. Um, he's uh, four weeks old. Five weeks old on Sunday. And then he will be getting able to go home same time, about the middle of uh, of uh, October. <laughs> yes, there you go. And uh, again, I'm teaching him to lay on his back. And uh, this is something, it's a sub submissive position for boys. Well, not boys, for puppies. Dogs. Dogs don't want to uh, initially lay on their back, but they don't want to lay down either, you know, in the down position. These are all things they have to be trained to do. They're like children. There's a lot of things children don't want to do. This doesn't hurt him. This is nothing bad for him. He just knows that it's a surrendering, submissive position, and they don't want to necessarily be in it. Now, he's shaking not because he's scared. He's shaking because he just got out of the bath. But this is something we work on, and I try to get him to drop his head and relax. And he's having a bit of a tough time doing that. Both his back legs and his front legs are very stiff. So I kind of massage him, keep him on his back and massage him, and the massage feels good to them. And I kind of pull and stretch the leg a little bit. Yeah. And uh, here's the back side of him. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Yes, he's big and fat and healthy, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, so the personalities are going to be very similar between the two. Uh, very self confident, uh, very loyal, very, very loyal, uh, very dedicated to children, and uh, very good for children because, and they're calm. You know, both puppies are going to be very calm. They're not going to be a hyper dog. They're not going to be a yappy dog. They're going to be very calm. Yet and again, willing to play when you're willing to play. So here's my little guy that I wanted to share with you guys. And anybody else that may be looking at this, you can find me, Barbara Williams, on byschnauzers.com. Byschnauzers.com. And, uh, you know, take a look. Give me a call. I have litters a couple times a year. That's it. And uh, maybe that's about it. Some people like salt and peppers and some like uh, black and silvers. It's all personal choice. But the love and the heart of both puppies will be the same. Thank you very much. Bye for now.